It's happening at a staggering rate. More than a dozen gruesome dog attacks in the last six months all across Metro Detroit. It happened again just last night in Sterling Heights near Metro Parkway in Mound. A man reported he was out walking his dog when a pit bull ran out of a backyard and attacked. His two dogs had to be taken to an emergency vet for treatment. A friend out with him also ended up in the hospital. Now, all too often, the victims of such attacks are left fighting for their lives. He called me and said, Ma, I need some help. The dog just bit me. Hurry up and get down here. With so many dog bite incidents like that, how do you avoid becoming a victim? Well, only on 7 Tonight, 7 Investigator Simon Shakehead joins us with a live demonstration designed to help save your life. Simon? Carol and Stephen, we're ready to show you exactly what to do to save your life, to save your child's life, to save your pet's life. We've got Michael, professional dog trainer, and his canine, Kaboom. He's also got his assistant, Emily, here. And in a few moments, we're going to show you exactly what to do if you are being attacked by a dog and also how to recognize the warning signs. It's an alarming kind of attack that most recently left a five-year-old Detroit girl hospitalized in critical condition. Just last week, she was mauled by several mixed-breed canines. I thought for a minute that my baby wasn't going to make it. And in April, a dog shot and killed by police in Lincoln Park after attacking a young boy. He called me and said, Ma, I need some help. The dog just bit me. Hurry up and get down here. Sandra O'Connor not only got attacked by two dogs, but says they also tried tearing her Cocker Spaniel, Molly, to pieces. They came at us just full run. She was bit and I was bit. I kicked the dogs and I finally picked her up. Probably about the hardest thing I've ever done. I'm sorry. To gain a better understanding how we can protect ourselves. We suited up with canine expert Michael Berkey with Michigan Dog Training. First thing is to stop. If you're running, it's like prey, like chasing a rabbit, and they will catch you. Specially trained Belgian Malinois, Kaboom, lives up to his name in this demonstration. Then go live. Oh, man. Despite wearing padding and a protective sleeve on my arm, Kaboom's bite packs a strong punch. Seconds later, he even takes out our camera. After the sleeve work is done, Michael explains exactly what to do in several scenarios, including Sandra's dog being attacked by other dogs. I never want to come in between the two of them and grab collars because I'm going to probably get bit by one or both of them. Instead, he says come from behind the dog, pull its head back, put a knee into its back, or grab its hind legs like a wheelbarrow and turn it away. That can also work if your child is attacked. If you're alone and a dog attacks you, fold your hands in, avoid eye contact, back away slowly without turning your back, look for something to put between you. Remember, don't scream. That will only agitate the dog further. Also, beware. Signs a dog might be about to attack include ears forward, a sudden pause in panting, staring at possible prey, and a tail up in the air. If that tail is wagging, it doesn't mean the dog is going to be friendly. When we were doing the bite work earlier, he was wagging his tail while he was biting you, right? It just means high arousal. Could be good, could be bad. I see. Once again, Michael is going to demonstrate what to do if you are attacked by a canine. Again, Emily is wearing a protective sleeve as I did. Go ahead and show us Michael and tell us what she should be doing in that instance. Before the bite, she should be stepping away, trying to create distance. Right. Yes. Because as the bite happens, you want to pull your arm into you so that they can't pull you forward onto the ground. You could strike here at the nose and try to affect the release and call for help. Okay. And then another situation that we want to show folks, and let's back up here so we Opia. have a little bit more room, Opia. is in the event that you hey. fall down to the ground Opia. or that dog knocks you down, Opia. what do you do Opia. if that dog were to end up on top of you or you fell to the ground as Emily's about to show us? Yeah. So as she falls to the ground, she wants to cover up her ears and neck to protect uh, vital areas. She's on her stomach to protect the organs. Her legs are together so the dog can't come in between and try to look for your escape. Okay. And if the dog were to give her a little bit of space, she would then get up and try to leave get slowly. Up and leave slowly, backing away, looking for things to put in between uh, her and the dog. Would you say that running from the dog is the most common mistake people yes, make? Yes, definitely. Whether you run, 
you turn and run or whether you run back pedaling, both are bad. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you, Emily. Thank you, Michael. And thank you to Kaboom for this important demonstration and all this information. This is just critical because if you find yourself in that dangerous situation, you got to know what to do in that situation. So Steve and Carolyn, we'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Simon, that was certainly great information and a, and a great instruction for us. So what about any products people can take when they're out walking or jogging to protect themselves and their loved ones? Carolyn, Michael brought a can of this and I can show it to you here. This is called Pet Corrector and they sell it at most pet stores. And if you listen to that, it's a very loud noise. It's condensed air. Michael, can yes. you tell us why this is effective? Because it's, it's not just the air in there that shoots out quickly, it's the sound? Yes, it's definitely the sound. It comes out super fast, so it makes a big hissing sound. It'll scare most mild to medium aggressive dogs away. Okay, and this could be something that gets you out very quickly if you need to. You can go jogging with it or walking the dog. It's about $8 at the pet shop. Pet corrector, back to you. Pet corrector, we'll have to write that one down. Thank you both so much for that live demonstration.